The Scoring Tools add-on will add a new command to Studio One called Move Selected Tracks to Folder. This command can be used to move one or multiple tracks into a specific folder. Here are two possible use cases. You add a string instrument from your browser to your song or a track preset and you want to automatically put it in the right folder without having to move it manually, which can be quite tedious in songs with many tracks. With the move selected tracks to folder command, you can add the instrument and then choose move to strings folder. The command can also be used if the folder does not exist yet. Then it will be created automatically, so this can also be useful for scaffolding new song templates or new pieces based on a certain template. If you have a new empty song, you can add some string presets, select the tracks and choose strings. This automatically creates the strings folder with the color that is defined in the macro. So this can also be quite helpful to get consistent colors. You can also use it without any tracks selected. Then choose brass, woodwinds, percussion. So with a few mouse clicks you can get the folders for your orchestra groups already with the colors defined in the macros. And of course if you like you can make your own macros with your own colors. Or you could also create one macro that creates all the folders in one go. The move select the tracks to folder command that the scoring tools add-on will add to Studio One can be also used independently from the macro toolbar. The macro toolbar which comes with scoring tools is just an example how the different commands could be used to make it easier for you to get started. You can just use the different macros just as they are or you could create your own macros that fit for your songs, your instruments and your workflow. The first item in the move to menu is the plain studio one command without any macro or predefined parameters. This just opens the move selected tracks to folder dialog. The first parameter is the name of the folder you want to move your tracks to. That might be strings and it's case insensitive so it does not matter if you type strings or strings or strings. The second parameter determines if the track should get the same color of the folder track when it's moved into the folder. So if your strings folder is green but your original track is yellow, it will be automatically colored green. And the third parameter is create folders if not existing. If this is disabled, nothing happens if there is no strings folder. And when you enable it, you can also choose a color for the new folder. Of course, this function is most useful if you use it to create your own macros with the folder names and colors that you use in your productions. For example, if you usually have a synth folder in your songs, it makes sense to create your own macro for that. To do that, open the macro organizer and click new. Now enter to folder to find the command. Then double click to add the command to the macro. Now double click the new entry to edit the parameters. Here you enter synths, check apply color, check create folder if not existing and now we can choose a color as well. That's all we need. Now for the name of the macro I use move to synths folder. And that's it. Now I can add a keyboard shortcut for the macro and assign this to my iPad or to an Elgato Stream Deck. And now when I add a new synth preset to my song, I can just press this key or button and automatically move the track or tracks to the correct folder. Or if you use the classic orchestra layout, then you can just use the macros that come with the add-on like strings, brass, percussion and so on. So that was the move selected tracks to folder command and it is part of the Studio One scoring tools add-on for composers, arrangers and sound designers that you can purchase under the link in the description or here in the info box.